I was thinking to myself that I had these really nice deer antlers and um, I just didn't know what to do with them. They were kind of homely. They're kind of homely. Let me show you. Isn't that beautiful? Not stylish. Very simple. I got them for like eight bucks. And I thought, I want to doll these up and have them be more useful than just hanging ties from or necklaces or whatever. Let me show you what it did. So here's my idea, and it's to take this mirror, this $2 mirror that I got at a thrift store, and I want to tip it just enough so when it sits in the antlers, you can see yourself if I have it high on the wall. Okay. Anyway, how do I want to do that? I don't want to ruin these antlers. These are I, who knows? I may not like the mirror. I want to, I want it to be able to be taken off. So here's my grand plan. I have this beautiful ribbon, which it says it's a water, watermark ribbon. Isn't that pretty? It's purple. Who doesn't love purple? And I'm going to adhere it to the back of this mirror in a way so as that I could tie them on to either antler in like a bow and make it kind of look pretty. And then if I don't want this mirror or the mirror breaks, I can just untie it. I have a glue gun and I hope that it works. <laughs> this isn't a very heavy mirror so that I think that will bode well for me. I'll see how this goes, okay. Side note, the ribbon length that I have is over a yard. So I, have, I think I have enough ribbon to figure out how big the bow should be but I'm, I'm just going to use the whole ribbon so i'm going to fold it over on itself i'll show you i can't i can't do i can't do this when i'm doing that so uh but yeah so just to tell you how how big my ribbon is because i, I don't want it's so pretty and i don't want to cut out for anything so uh, when looking online i haven't seen anybody who just stuck a mirror on your antlers uh, this is probably the laziest version of a deer antler mirror you'll ever see. What I did was just globbed on that glue and glued her down. So I think she will hold. Okay, she's done. It was a little difficult to tie on the bows. But what you do is you're just going to do like a regular shoe tying knot. Was it a square knot they call that? And then you're going to do a slip knot and then tie the bow. You'll have one end for this bow and one end for that bow because you're making a bow just out of the string of ribbon. A string of ribbon, does that make sense? Okay, and I'll show you what it looks. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my wall. Sadly, I don't have a lower place to hang it. I wish I did. Um, I'm on a stepping stool here, adjusting my face, trying to not get the phone in the way. Uh, but this is what it looks like on my wall.